This is salmon sushi, and you can thank a Norwegian named Bjorn for inventing it. Salmon is not part of the original sushi culture. Even up until the mid-90s, you wouldn't find it on a sushi menu anywhere in Japan. That's because Japan is in the Pacific Ocean, and the salmon they had access to had parasites. Therefore, it always had to be cooked before being served. So how did raw salmon become a thing? Well, in the 80s, Norway was faced with a salmon problem. They had so much that industrial freezers had to be built to hold all the excess. The Norwegian government turned to one man, Bjorn Olsen, to sell the salmon to one of the world's largest consumers of fish, Japan. Bjorn wanted to create the next big craze, salmon sushi, because Atlantic salmon, unlike the Pacific variety, was parasite-free and thus could be eaten raw. This wasn't easy. It took almost 10 years to convince the country that Atlantic salmon could be used as sushi. It all came down to one deal with a frozen food company called Nishi Rei, in which he sold 5,000 tons of salmon for cheap under one condition, that they labeled it as sushi in grocery stores. That deal paved the way for Bjorn, and from there, salmon could finally roll on to becoming one of the most popular sushi dishes around the world. This is banana candy. It doesn't taste like bananas at all, unless you were born before the 1960s. This isn't about taste buds of older people being...